New York City is known as the Mecca of basketball. In 2006, an idea was born to bring a high school all-star game to Rucker Park. If you have just walked into Rucker Park, this is the first ever inaugural debut, Elite 24. This is the history of the Under Armour Elite 24. So uh, we started the Elite 24 in 2006, and uh, I was having a conversation with a good friend of mine, Chris Rivers. And uh, at the time I worked in publishing, I worked for Rise Magazine. And uh, I was throwing some ideas out at Chris, and. Chris help, helped refine those ideas, and uh, we collaborated together um, in 2006 and decided to put the best high school players in the country outdoors at Rucker Park. And uh, from 2006 till we're going into our 10th year now, they've eventually taken off. From 155th Street in Harlem, the world famous Rucker Park is the site of the Elite 24 Hoops Classic. Back in 2006, when the Elite 24 first started, uh, I was the young. I, I was the youngest. I think Lance Stevenson was the youngest at that time in the eighth grade. But it was tough. I mean, out there with guys like Mike Beasley, uh, Kevin Love, and so on. Um, but for a young guy like myself to get MVP the first year, uh, that was pretty amazing. Oh I actually didn't know what to expect. Um, you know, when they said Elite 24 game outside, the first thing you think, like, man, like, you know, I'm from California, you know, we don't play outside at all. So when they said we got to bring it to the streets, um, I was like, all right, cool, whatever. Um, and then, you know, once you just got out there and you got the experience to play the famous work apart, you know, everything just went out the window. <laughs> Cool. Because the kids have an opportunity to go earn a nickname at this event. You know, they have an opportunity to, you know, play some isolation basketball and showcase their talents and skills and um, have fun. You know, the, the event's really built upon the idea to, to have fun, to enjoy summer basketball, play outside, play outdoors. Doopy <laughs> Doodah Sauce Pan. How did I get the nickname Doobie Doo? Uh, 06, first time playing in the park. Uh, Bobby though, he just threw out the name Doobie Doo because uh, I just do what I do when I'm on the court, you know. Uh, pretty unique. Um, and then the next year, I got the, the nickname to take over because I just took over the whole game and it basically became my game. You know, The game quickly earned a lot of notoriety um, over the years, so we decided to move the game uh, to Venice Beach, and uh, it gave the event a whole nother vibe. <laughs> just a blessing to come out here and showcase our talent well get 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 dunks and everything so it was fun playing outdoors in the setup i think that's the best part about it uh the fact that the fans get to come see and playing out there is very very special to me if you're playing bad they're gonna let you know you're playing bad two years ago and we brought the game back to New York and um, we did the event at the uh, tobacco factory and it was a location that um, a former Under Armour employee found, Mike Parker, 
and it was a great location and it created a beautiful setting underneath uh, the Brooklyn Bridge. And uh, last year we found a, a, a new venue um, on the pier overlooking all of Manhattan. Keep the game in, in, a, in an outdoor setting. I think you know it will always stay intact to what it was set out to be, and that was really creating a platform for kids to get back to really the heart and soul of just playing basketball. Every idea starts with just a seed. As we water that seed, you'll see it grow and take on its own identity. The Under Armour Elite 24 has been stapled into history. On our next episode, we'll take you inside the 10th game. Stay tuned.